Hello and welcome to Vinny Visits, the show where I play new games that I've never played before and share my first impressions with you. Today, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. A game that looks really good, but I have never played a Xenoblade game before, so let's... I hear that it's not required to play the other games, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. But, uh, I figured I have it. And I, um, I got it for Christmas, so I figured I might as well. Because I hear it's a very popular game. Both, um, this and it's and it's the first entry in the series, which released back in the days of the Wii. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, I know nothing about this. I just know that it's, um, a game that a lot of people love, and I want to give it a shot. So here we have Mr. F floating island in the sky? Question mark? Alright. We're diving. This feels a lot like Uncharted. Uncharted 4 where you're um, early on diving with Drake. So what is that that you're grabbing, guy? Or rather, using a kind of hook to bring yourself closer to the ground? The underwater ground? Okay. So what is this? That you're grabbing with magnets, apparently. Magnetic floaters? Question mark. I'm very confused. Honestly. I have no idea what to expect from this game, but already it's got some interesting, weird things. Huh. Interesting. Alright. So now we're coming in. This intro cutscene really does not tell me anything about the game. I mean, I guess it's an introduction to our main character. We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. Ah. Off by 150 pets to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. <laughs> you know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right. I don't like Rex's voice. Alright, I guess we're fighting with a crowbar now. We're grabbing something. A sword, okay. Fighting with a sword. Teach me how to fight game. Time to earn your lunch. <laughs> to initiate combat, first thing Rex needs to do is draw his weapon. To draw your weapon, simply press A while targeting an enemy. 
to display the target, just press R. You can tell which enemy you're targeting by the target marker displayed above its head. Incidentally, you can also sheathe your weapon if you'd rather not continue a fight. It's as simple as holding down R and pressing B. If you approach the targeted enemy with your weapon drawn, you'll execute attacks automatically. This is your standard auto attack. Got all that? Then it's time to draw your weapon and start preparing your lunch. Okay, Alright. Auto attacks are delivered in sets of three. The attack power increases with each blow. Alright. Can I attack on my own? No? I can only auto attack? Take a look at the screen in the lower right. When one of these activates, it means an art is ready to use. Arts are special techniques distinct from auto attacks. The icons are laid out on the controller buttons. So just press the corresponding button to use one. After using an art, you have to wait for the for it to cool down before you can use it. Recharge gauge will refill as you auto attack. You can now let rip. Press, try pressing X now to let rip with Rex's anchor shot art. And we just dropped something. It's a potion. Okay. Okay. Consider the arts that you have available to you per battle. Okay. Okay, it looks like it's filling pretty decently. Oh, some money. Interesting. Okay. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. Interesting. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Bet you somebody Perhaps fucked up. All we know is we were forced to leave Earth to live here in all rest. Where it turns out life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. Okay. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans. And we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now, those titans are beginning to die out. Huh. Interesting. Okay. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Right He's not chewing anything. <laughs> there is nothing in his mouth for him to be chewing. He was chewing on nothing. Alright, what is this? Oh, is that another Titan? Must be. Careful with those clouds, man. <laughs> Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder if anyone was living there. It seems not. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> huh. Hey, Grumps. 
Do you think Fonset Village will be gone too one day? It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Well, that sucks. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. So, you don't say. So, you Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say. For what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium? And the Creator? Who said to live there? Probably. That would be great. No need for fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonse. If the Divine Architect can see us now. I wonder what he thinks. Are we finally gaining control? Are we done with the cutscenes? <sighs> All right. Back to making money. Sounds about right. I think this hole should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps. Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now. Getting toward my bedtime. <laughs> Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Rude. He's old. No respect, I swear. <laughs> God damn, Rex. You rude little shit. Like, damn. He's literally your house, and you're being rude to him. Like, damn. Fuck's wrong with you, man. Argentum Trade Guild. Okay. I wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. All right? Later. Hey, hold on. <laughs> You're not going to credit. Does it? <laughs> no one, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sounds... you know what? I'm actually not surprised. Having only known him for like five minutes, this already sounds like something he does. This thing's huge. It's not even a titan ship. That... that... that is a huge thing. <laughs> and knowing how RPGs typically go, that's probably where we're gonna end up going. Looks like our adventure is about to really get going. You can count on me to offer you timely count on me to offer timely explanations of any new game features you encounter. When you close this tutorial screen, you'll see Goldmouth Return Port pop up on the screen, just letting you know you found a landmark. When you discovered a landmark, you can return to it instantly with skip travel at any time. If you're defeated in battle, you'll be returned to the last landmark you visited. RS has a great variety of landmarks, so discover as many as you can to help you on your adventure. Just in case you ever find yourself struggling with basic controls, press left, up, or right to bring up a quick explanation of the control screen. Left is for battle commands, up is for camera controls, and right is for field controls. Okay, how do we control the camera? Change camera height or distance by holding L and using your right stick. 
and reset camera by just pressing them. Okay. Okay. Field controls. Minus is your system menu, plus is your main menu, R is target an enemy, your left stick is move your character, down is lure your enemy, well targeting, skip travel is X, and I didn't mean to open that. Um... Can I have that back, please? Um, A is confirm or draw your weapon. B is cancel or jump. Why? Hello! I fell in the water. Um, hello. Hello. Okay, I'll figure my way out of here in a second. Uh, camera, okay, page two. While holding down R, you can clear your target by pressing B. Can I... Game? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Excuse you. There we go. Alright, so where are we heading? I see a bunch of people here with talk boxes. Perry Perry. He's... Set, set chair. Uh, let's talk to set chair. Hi there, Rex, my boy. This this no pawn here just arrived to do a bit of sightseeing around Argentum. I keep saying the central exchange is inside Goldmouth, but just after you enter the ship, but he just doesn't get it. And now and now he wants me to take him up to Lamore Inn on the third floor. I'm a salvager, not a tour guide. S I mean, if you can make some money from him. Hi there. Wow, Rex, it's good to see you. Perry Perry, just whiling away time, watching ships go by till cargo all loaded on board. What Rex ate at meal together? Nice tasty samad or some such. Sorry, I'm kinda busy at the moment. Meh, that's too bad. Perry Perry thought would be nice to make happy memories before set out on long, long voyage. Ah, never mind, Perry Perry. He's just going is just being melodramatic. Rex keep up doing good work with salvaging. Okay. I guess we can't. Hey there, Rex. That ship caught your eye? Well, of course. Yeah, I guess it's not easy to miss. Never knew they made ships this big without a Titan at the core. I can't even begin to imagine how the whole thing works. Indeed. Do you know whose ship it is? Some clients of the chairman, I think. Don't know the details. Huh, I see. I know you're curious, but don't go climbing on board or anything, okay? I'm not that crazy. Anyway, I've got to get back to work. Alright then, see you around, Garum. Okay, so let's do exactly not that. We're gonna try to climb on board. <laughs> now that's a big boat. Wonder where it's from. Okay, I guess it won't let us. ZR. Current objective, ZR. I'm pressing ZR and you're not showing me my current objective. Thanks, game. So I guess we head inside and try to find somebody to... First, uh, regular view. See that arrow? That's the compass. Okay. Mark on the compass indicates the direction that Rex should be heading in. Okay. Digits above the mark on the compass show the distance to your destination. Okay. Rex is higher than the current position. You'll see an arrow above the marker. Conversely, if, if it's at a lower altitude... Okay. Okay, so it's sunny. It's about midday. Oh, no, it's about 2.30. Okay, and here's our mini-map. Yellow marker shows our current location and the direction he's facing. P push the left stick to switch to full screen map. Lastly, we have the current objective. As you might suspect, this tells you exactly what Rex is supposed to be doing. Total visibility with ZR, so take a look if you're ever unsure about what to do next. Right now, it's telling you to go pay a visit to M Milolo at the Central Exchange, so let's do that. Okay. Oh, that's... Oh, it has a more detailed map, too. Okay. 
Hey, Melolo. What? That's it. It's live, Mayor. This still more than I give to non-friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Arday and Raya, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. I see. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. Stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Rex good salvager. Could be good way to earn pretty pennies. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. Two hundred no, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond in pain. <laughs> it's cause Gramps doesn't charge rent. Hey hey! Alright, I'm counting on you. Roger, pleasure doing business. Alright. Very nice. Got our 200 gold. G. 200 G? 200 gold? I don't even remember. Explore Argentum. Cool. Hi. Have you heard anything interesting lately? There's this legendary merc of mine. A pal of mine told me about it. So cute. How do you pronounce that? Get this! He's got a huge sweet tooth. Can't say no to a Cinnabon roll. Just one Cinnabon roll and he'll be pumped for the next battle. Similar to how my wife's got a serious thing for... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Pleasant smells are conducive to a good working environment, she says. You should find that special something that peps you up as well. Okay. To the... Oh. Hi. Hello, Rex. The Pune. It's been a while. The Rex looking high spirits. I know how to say. Yes. Pepe. Been worse. So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way, Rex come from Fonset Village in Lefurian Archipelago, yes? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? You should go straight to boardroom of Chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner asked for Rex by name. Oh, boy. The Chairman. For me. That can't be good. Hold up a second. Should explain how to control the- okay. Two modes, manual and auto. Manual mode, you use the thing to point the camera in whatever direction. If you press X and will hone in on my back and follow me around, it's call auto mode. You can also adjust the camera's height and zoom. Hold down L and move- oh! Wow! That's actually really cool. If you experiment with different camera views and angles, you might be able to spot a few things that you might otherwise have missed, so give it a try. Okay, so Chairman, what's his name, needs us. Okay, so it's gotta be it's this right here. Hi. Best here is room for Chairman Bana. Chairman very busy, no bones, so no entering unless important business. Temper of Chairman famously short, not to disturb lightly. Okay, well, he did ask for me by name, so... Kinda important. We hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have teensy weensy thing to ask of a Considering you're the chairman, it's probably not teensy weensy. Reward is one hundred thousand gold. A hundred thousand. Friend here writes, actually, that's just the advice. <laughs> Two hundred thousand gold. Two hundred thousand gold in total. Uh, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details of your. I need to make money. <laughs> right. Um, what kind of job is it? You really have skills for this. Of course. I'll be fine. I'm a salvager. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. 
sir. That cross shot. Nice to meet you. He's an interesting looking fellow. I don't like him. He's gonna be a fucking main villain, isn't he? Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So there's something <laughs> that we want to Excuse talk me. about. There were some current shifts that showed up in an uncharted area. Alright. But it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want small, elite team, and only from the theory. But when Banner has drove off genius, should hire Rex. Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. Oh, Rex. <laughs> A child salvager. Jim, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this off day too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I would have wept myself for the promise of a measly underground. <laughs> she has a point. She has a point. <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Juma, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop you. it, Nia. <laughs> <laughs> I love this group already. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? Why? Why, guy? Why? What are you playing at? Well, well, well. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You just did, you liar. You did think it, though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Gramps showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, you better work hard. Cool. Well, that is it for today. You don't say. Here's your advance. Use to buy what gear you need, then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. All right, like I said, that's it for today. This game is already amazing looking. Oh, my friend. If only you knew what you were getting yourself into. This game is a lot bigger than this video makes it out to be. And you really owe it to yourself to try out the game. It's freaking amazing. Just the end of chapter 1 caught me way off guard. I'm not going to spoil anything, but be ready for a lot of shit thrown at you really quickly. Um, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, and I will meet you back here next week on Vinny Visits. I would like to give this game a solid 5 out of 5 rating. Holy shit. The beginning of this game is beautiful. See you guys next week.